2017 Subaru Impreza 5 door. Wagons are a big business for Subaru, and it got this one right. Highs and lows. Highs. Improved design inside and out, handling and steering feel, bigger hatch to access larger cargo space. Lows. Not much power, manual transmission is not available at launch and still has only 5 cogs. Subaru is an odd company in many ways. One such way is its ratio of sedan to wagon sales, which is pretty much the inverse of every other manufacturer except, perhaps, Volvo. Take the Impreza, which sells at a rate of 30% sedans to 70% wagons or five doors to use the preferred industry terminology. Honda, for instance, expects the new Civic hatchback to make up only about 15% of overall Civic sales. It's safe to say that Subaru buyers like a good hatch, and, thus, the five-door got plenty of love from the engineers as part of the Impreza's overhaul for 2017. With a hatchback it's all about the hole, and Subaru widened the Impreza's. The outgoing hatchback had large singular tail light clusters that, although big and bright, pinched the opening due to their size. So Subaru has split the tail lights, putting part of the lens on the lift gate, as so many crossover designers have done before Subaru, thereby adding 4 inches of width to the narrowest portion of that fifth aperture. The result may look slightly generic, but it makes for easier access to the back. Also, the new Subaru Global platform on which the Impreza is based sees its rear shock towers moved farther apart by about an inch, which opens up the cargo hold. Subaru claims an additional 3 cubic feet of maximum cargo space in this year's 5-door, the company's official name for the hatchback, or enough to pack in 827 ears of Indiana corn with the rear seats up or 2,472 ears with the seats down. They actually made glued-up corn sculptures in the shape of the wagon's cargo area to prove it. Because Subaru. And because the Impreza is now made in Indiana. Tempting as it is, we'll leave the cornhole jokes to lesser media outlets and just say that the Impreza 5 door has all of the goodness that Subaru baked into its clean sheet new platform, as we learned during our first drive of the 2017 Impreza sedan. That includes better crash performance and a stiffer structure for improved dynamics, partially accomplished by 23 feet of adhesive bonding plus the wider use of high tensile hot press steel. As in the sedan, a revised version of the FB20 direct injected 2.0 liter flat 4 is the only engine yet available in the Impreza 5 door, the 152 horsepower and 145 lbft ratings are adequate and delivered smoothly for a boxer though without any neck bending excitement. A continuously variable automatic transmission or a 5 speed stick is available in all trim levels except for the loaded limited, which is CVT only. Manual models won't be available initially, and 5 cogs is still one short of modern norms, but Subaru, unlike Honda, gets kudos for not punishing manual buyers by forcing them to drive a stripper. At the media event, Subaru glued together ears of corn to show the Impreza hatchback's cargo capacity with its rear seats up, 827 ears, and folded down, 2,472 ears. The Impreza wagon used to be positioned as sort of a small SUV, but back in 2013, Subaru canned all the outback ness, dropping the two-tone paint jobs and large fog lights and introducing the Impreza-based cross-strek to assume the quasi-crossover role. That freed the Impreza 5 door to be a slick, urbane hatchback for people who might aspire to an Audi A4 Avant if that model were still sold in America. And the 2017 Impreza fills that role even better, showing real sophistication to its ride and handling and a better treatment of its passengers through more space plus better trim and features. As with the sedan, the 5-door S new platform enjoys a 0.2-inch lower center of gravity compared with the previous model. The curb weight, according to Subaru, ranges from about 3,050 pounds in the base 2.0i manual to 3,200 pounds on the big-wheeled Sport. The strut front and multi-link rear suspensions mounted to stiffer subframes keep chassis roll and pitch to a minimum, 
yet the Impreza doesn't punish you on broken pavement, even on the sport's 18-inch wheels. A quicker steering ratio borrowed from the BRZ makes the turn-in sharp and gratifying. Even in the absence of thrilling power, the Impreza is a delight because of its stiff, well-tuned chassis and also its firm brake pedal. Once you reach the freeway, the extra sound insulation and thicker side glass, as well as a redesigned HVAC system with larger ductwork and less fan roar, help cut the extraneous noise, although the thrumming Impreza still may not rate as the quietest in its class. What's that coming over the hill, is it a comparison test? The cockpit won't win any The Future Is Now awards, but it does pull Subaru into the modern era with three multicolor screens upon which the latest apps can be run. Plus, there's an optional navigation system based on TomTom software and an available Rockin' Harman slash card in stereo. Cockpit detailing is a big step forward for Subaru's least expensive car, and the upholstery trim gets noticeably nicer as you move from the base 2.0i up through the premium, sport, and limited trim levels. The company says the median age of Impreza buyers is 32 and that, industry-wide, millennials tend to buy more sedans than hatchbacks except when they come into a Subaru showroom, where it's the five-door that the vast majority want. Why Subaru is special this way we can't figure, the Mazda 3 hatchback is both practical and gorgeous but doesn't see nearly as much buyer enthusiasm. Whatever the buyer's reasoning, with the new Impreza they're getting a thoroughly updated car that offers both all-wheel drive and above PAR handling as standard equipment on cars with base prices ranging from about $20,000 to $25,500. That seems certain to keep Subaru's amazing sales tier going for a few more years.